Hey everyone! I'm making my first video here in the Rapunzel photography room, um, which has nice lighting, so hopefully you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing in a much better way than before. And I'm going to make you a tutorial about how to use this gorgeous Monet's Garden scarf. It is a silk scarf and it is long, so we've never actually sold a scarf like this before, but it is incredibly easy to use once you get a handle of it. So I'm only wearing this at the beginning to show you that my outfit actually does match my tichel because the tichel that I'm going to be using definitely does not match my outfit. But, okay, so I am wearing right now a full Wendy and my hair is tied up in an umtastic scrunchie as well. So this is quite large. So I do want to show you that you can use this scarf with a large shaper. You can use it with a smaller shaper as well. So. What I've done, because I really love the blue on this scarf, is I'm going to show you a couple of ways to tie it. I was experimenting with it over Shabbat. Is first I'm going to show you tying it in the middle, basically with two ends hanging down at equal lengths. So you know, I'm going to do it behind my ears because it's really hot outside. And as you can see, with the Wendy, you really, you don't even need to fold it to make it fit your head. Like I'm getting a bit of a lip right here, but I'm gonna fold that underneath my shaper at the end. Now the first style I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie it at the side, right here, right behind my ear. Take these, see I'm kind of like moving that to create a really nice flat edge at the front. And now I'm going to take this and just tie a bow. You can tie it nice and tight, ruffle it out, and you can make the knot as big or small as you want. And there you go, absolutely stunning. Barely takes any time. And again, as, no, as long as you have some sort of no slip contraption, whether it be a no slip headband or a shaper with a no slip band attached, the scarf is not going to budge. Okay. So I'm going to untie this. Now the second style that I came up with on Shabbat, I was like, I'd woken up from a nap, and I was being super lazy, is that you just take the two ends and tie it right in the middle at the back, no tying it on a side. And literally if you do that, this actually looks really nice on its own. But if you want to go a little further, you can take a headband that has an elastic back like this and put it on over, okay, do not put it around your neck first. Put it on last, so your elastic is right here. And then what I did, basically, this is also if you have trouble tying a bow. So I kind of pulled the loop through like so and then kind of like swished it out this is also if you're going outside and don't want the sun on the back of your neck. It's very light um, and very helpful to not get sunburned on the back of your neck. So there you go, a very pretty way to wear this silk scarf. Pretty easy, right? So the way I wore it um, in the product photo is a little more labor intensive, but really, once again, not too difficult. So I'm going to tie it with one end longer and one end shorter. Same thing, doing it behind my ears. I really don't have to. Again, I do have some extra scarf to work with back here. I could fold it if I wanted, but it is to show you that even if you have a larger head and want an even larger shaper, that it can work. Okay, tying it once, so one end is short, one end is long. Tucking this underneath, there you go. I'm gonna bring around this end, this, the scarf, because it's silk has one end that's like shinier and one end that's less shiny. So I want the shiny end, the shiny side showing. Bringing this up and over. And this is where you have to like, not be afraid of the scarf, because it is silk. And it will, now that it's on top of itself, it will slip. If you want to be super secure about this, you can definitely add a pin if you're careful. And 
that will look. So now I'm tying a beginner's luck knot. And again, all these um, tichel styles are available on our channel, but since it's a long silk scarf, which we've never really shown before, um, some people would be wondering. So now I tie it once. Now this is not a very secure knot because it's very slippery. So now I tie it. You can either do a slip knot or a bow. Really, like you don't have to be too careful about it because it's such a gorgeous scarf that it's just gonna look good no matter what. So okay, what am I doing here? It's a little hard because the video I'm making is a bit backwards. So I'm gonna take this end, fold it around here, take this loop, and do that. And there we go. That's like the style I had on the product shot. Now you'll see that this is holding quite nice now. I mean, it's like it's slippery, but um, it's it's pretty firm. If I wanted it not to have any chance of slipping back, I suppose I could maybe wear a velvet headband or put a pin here or put another pin here. But really, even if it does slip back a little throughout the day, it's not going to look bad. Um, and if you tie it nicely and firmly, it should stay where you put it. Okay. I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to see what you ladies do with this. Oh, and let me let me show you what it looks like with my ear underneath. Because I think that's also the way I had it on the product photo. So those, that's with my ears underneath. Okay. Look at that. Take care, ladies. Bye-bye.